guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl tupo if you're new here welcome 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 please subscribe like comment give me a thumbs up guys today i'm going to be showing you this bridal hairstyle so if you guys want to see how i achieve this look please continue watching okay guys i'm going to be using this hair donut bun maker some bobby pins a scissors a diana brush some eco styling gel you know i love eco styling gel rat tail as well as you know my afro comb just to comb my hair out so i'm using this rat tail just to make a section on the side this hairstyle is going to be sectioned on the side I'm using some eco styling gel just to make sure my line is really nice and straight so if you want to have your line really nice and straight some add some gel when you're like sectioning as well so that makes a very big difference so that's a very nice way to have your lines really nice and crisp okay so i'm just going to section the hair in the front just the way i'm doing right there guys so i want this little piece in the front because i'm going to be styling that later okay When I'm done sectioning the hair, I'm just going to hold it with the scrunchie just the way I'm doing right there. And then I'm going to start sleeking the hair down in the back. So I'm using my Afro comb just to make sure my hair is nice and detangled already. Okay. And then I'm just using the Eco Styling Gel just to sleek the hair down. Okay, sis. You know, the 4C hair is really hard to sleek down. But what you can do is start sectioning the hair just the way I'm doing right there. And, you know, just add some gel as you go along. Section, add some gel. You can even comb it out. Um, and then, you know, um, use this Diana brush. Let me tell you about this Diana brush. I got it from my local beauty supply, but let me tell you, if I find the brush online, I will link this because this brush right here, it slicks this hair down. Okay. So just the way I'm doing right there. So I decided to start with the side guys, because you know, I wanted to slick that hair down really, really good. Okay. Cause that side is going to be showing. And then I'm just going to continue to slick the hair down in the back. Take your time, guys, when slicking your 4C hair. It's really, really difficult to slick down. But, you know, as you section and you go along, you add some more gel or whatever. And it does work. And I'm taking my shine and jam and applying it in the front because I want it to be really nice and sleek. So, guys, this hairstyle, we're not doing no baby hair. That's how we're rocking it, okay? Just taking my right tail comb and just you know brushing the hair up just to make sure it's really nice and sleek and then i'm just going to cornrow the hair going down guys so that's just a cornrow just a basic cornrow it doesn't have to be too tight and then when i'm done i'm just going to use a bobby pin to secure it this strips that i got from amazon you know amazon is the plug right these strips work so well for my hair guys when i use these strips they actually suck the um the gel as well so you don't have like those white stuff when you use this all right guys so i'm just going to be using this satin scarf and then just tie the hair down i'm gonna keep it in for a while you know for some hours okay and then I'm using this Cuban hair. This is the Cuban hair that we're using. This is the 16 inch Cuban twist braiding hair, guys. So I bought six of them. They come six in a pack or whatever. And I'm just taking it out straight from the pack and just placing it on the door right there because it's, it's secure enough for you to braid it down. So I'm just going to braid it down just the way I'm doing right there, guys. Nothing fancy. And when you get to the end right there, you know, just tie a little knot, okay? You can use some rubber bands or whatever. I just tie a little knot at the end and that's about it. And when I'm done, I'm just going to cut the excess hair, you know, just to make sure it's really nice and sleek or whatever. Um, so I'm cutting the donut and I got this donut from Amazon, guys. This is the extra, extra large. It's actually 5.5 inches. Using three packs in this style, guys. 
so i'm just taking the hair it comes with a little rubber band i just cut it off and then i'll cut two of them and mix them together just because i wanted it to be really nice and huge guys so i'm taking a scrunchie just to you know secure this together um you know just the way i'm doing right there because i really want the bun to be big because your girl likes some big hair big hair don't care okay i'm taking the hair donut the one that i cut I'm just gonna place it under the bun that I made guys and then I'm securing it with some bobby pins so I'm securing each side with like four bobby pins just to make sure it's really nice and secure on the side so I'm not secure I'm not securing it in the back guys because I'm going to be lifting that up you guys are about to see that real soon okay anyway so when I secure that um in the sides just to make sure it's really nice and secure you can secure it with as many bobby pins as you want And you're just going to secure the hair as well with the bobby pin where you have the little um, scrunchie and place it over there guys so you don't have to like tie you know you don't have to secure with the with the scrunchie that you have because i wanted it to be like up there so i'm securing with some more bobby pins guys you know just to make sure it's nice and secure i have like what four or five bobby pins on the hair just to make sure it's really nice and secure guys okay so i'm just gonna straighten the hair out you know making sure the sides are nice and covered and then i'm um, just going to take the scrunchie okay and tie the hair on the bottom just the way i'm doing guys this is so so easy guys very very easy anybody can achieve this okay you know i'm just gonna tie it twice and then that's why i was telling you i'm not securing the donut down with some bobby pins because i'm lifting it up and you know just putting it under you know tucking it under the donut okay and then using some bobby pins to secure that's it so this style guys is going to require enough bobby pins because you know what you you're about to be secure secure so um i'm using more bobby pins to secure and that's it guys so if i really want it i'll just rock it like this as well and that's another style but now sis your sis is extra or whatever it's the hair that i already braided i'm just placing it on the braided hair that i did and i'm just securing the hair with some bobby pins so make sure you're going under guys so you don't want the bobby pins to show and then when you get to the end you're just going to secure it under the the bun that you made And I got this accessory from Amazon. This is the flower hair pearls hair piece. And this is so cute. Oh my gosh, you know I'm the accessorizing queen or whatever. So I'm just taking some bobby pins and just putting on both sides of the accessory and then just placing it on the hair, guys. So you can use as many accessories as you want, but that's it, guys. Yes, sis. This style came all the way through. Oh my gosh, guys. I am so happy how this style came out. This looks just like my hair. That's my whole point. Like, I just wanted to look like a natural hair bride. Let me know if you're feeling this. Comment in the description below. But you know, I gotta be an accessorizing queen some more. I'm just adding this little accessories that I got from Amazon. I'll put everything in the description below. Hey, yes, sis. Ooh, okay, sister. I'm looking so cute. I'm about to ask my husband if we can redo our vows right now. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys love this style. Let me know. Give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe, girl. Guys, we are at 56K. Woo! 100k here we go thank you guys so much see you guys later bye